As you just heard the governor mention, Tulsa's stay at home order runs through April 30th. But even if it were to be lifted, it doesn't mean that we'll all just rush back to regular life. It does mean new and different policies. And as Channel 8's Kim Jackson reports, it will also take you feeling like you're safe. She joins us now live to explain. Kim? Well, these days, you know, most of us are keeping our masks and our gloves close by. But as far as physically going into a business and being close to people, well, that could take some time. More than ready. I'm so ready to reopen all again. Estella Rodriguez is offering delivery and carry out at Fiesta Mambo, trying to survive. But even though she's ready, she's concerned about herself, her employees, and the customers. When we open again, I think our um, co-workers in there, they need to wear gloves, probably masks for, I don't know, probably a month or something. Servers wearing masks and gloves and buildings with limited capacity, those are some options that offer comfort to some. Probably limiting capacity would be helpful, um, but yeah, it's hard to tell at what like how long it would take for everybody to be comfortable with that. Aero Flowers and Gifts is closed to the public and doing only delivery with drivers wearing gloves and masks, but only time would make the owner feel better. It's going to be several months before I feel comfortable with opening my door. Uh, I would rather make appointments for people who have sympathy needs and things like that. And Patsy Terry is not quite ready to eat out. It'll be a while. <laughs> But Ken Brown only worries about people with underlying conditions. For me and my family, I think that we'd be okay coming into a restaurant and eating just fine. So while he's picking up pizza for his employees, he's ready for a sit-down meal out on the town. I'm ready. Let's open them back up. So the mayor here in Tulsa says it won't be quite that simple. He says it will take some time, some evaluation, and it could, they could mirror actually what happens in other cities. Live in downtown Tulsa, Kim Jackson, Tulsa's Channel 8. Kim, thank you.